საქართველოს კულტურის, სპორტისა და ახალზრდობის სამინისტროს მხარდაჭერით, რადიო იმედი წარმოგიდგენთ თეა მუქერიას პოდკასტს მოსაწყენი საუბრები მუსიკაზე. Hello, Mr. Apo. Nice to meet you and thank you for having such an opportunity to have a little conversation, a little interview with you because we were really looking forward meeting with you with Helsinki Baroque Orchestra and uh, I have just a few questions. <laughs> uh, well, just uh, to start from the very beginning about you, uh, to tell us about you a little bit more because uh, your musical, musical education you began um, as a chorister at Helsinki Cathedral and took up uh, the harpsichord at the age of 13. Why did you decide? to play harpsichord and to change, just like to change. Yeah, yes, in, indeed, to, to yeah, change. I, yeah. I was playing the piano before, mm -hmm. so, um, <clears throat> and, and uh, yes, I, I, I did like them. I think it was about the music in, in the first place. Mm -hmm. I, I, I did like the mu music of Baroque, of Bach, mm -hmm. especially, especially. I, I, on the piano also. And, and of course, in the, in the cathedral choir, we, we sang a lot of uh, the passions and all the oratoriums of, of Bach, so I, I came naturally to that music. Mm -hmm. And then there was a possibility in the local music school where I was studying to, to, <coughs> to try the harpsichord. They had a quite good instrument and, and was possible to have less lessons on it. So I was, of course, I was very interested and then I, yeah, basically I switched to harpsichord. I, I st quite stopped the piano for a while, which I uh, regretted later a little bit, but, um, okay. but yeah, I, I indeed switched quite, quite fast to the harpsichord back then, yes. Your teachers were very famous people. <laughs> yes, Elena Mustonen and Ole Portman on organ, Bob Van Asperen and Pierre Hantai. And uh, you were also very lucky to enjoy the generous uh, guidance and encouragement of Maestro Gustav Leonhardt. Uh, yes, how would you remember his lessons and his advices, which may be just changed your style of making music and playing harpsichord? Mm. Yes, um, well, um, Gustav Leonhardt was was the, let's one could say, the uh, author of the, of the modern yeah. harpsichord playing. He, he <coughs> developed a way of using the instrument idiomatically mm -hmm. uh, and was probably the, the first one to do so also on, on these yes. historical instruments and of course in for, for interpretation of early music in general he was he was one of the most famous famous um, uh, not only famous but important and mm -hmm. and and, and um, uh, musicians mm -hmm. uh, probably one of the most important musicians of the of the last century um, yes I, I I knew him for well, basically, since the, st the beginning of my studies, he was mm -hmm. still still teaching. In the, I was not his student, but, but. Uh, I was not his pupil. But he was still um, teaching in mm -hmm. the in the cons uh, Amsterdam mm -hmm. Conservatory when yes. I went went there right after after the school. So he was always present in the in the exams and uh, con and, he, okay. and and then later I got to know him a little bit and uh, and he sometimes came to my concerts and uh, with. Uh, some very polite suggestions all, always afterwards and, and, and uh, mm, but um, also my teachers were were, mm -hmm. stu were students uh, were pupils of Leonhardt so it yes. or, or it was it was pretty much in a, in a similar Pass, like one could yes. say style mm -hmm. uh, similar way of, mm -hmm. of, of technique similar kind of yeah, style, style of, of, of using the instrument, yes. of approaching the, the music. So, I, um, yeah, difficult to say what exactly was, but it, it but certainly he, he was he was, <laughs> he was important and, and memorable in my, my, my study times and and still still later. But I, I knew him until until he died. He, he yes. gave many concerts and also came to Finland mm -hmm. a few times. So we kind of stayed in touch to to some extent. Yes. Yes. Yes, I can imagine how memorable it was just collaborating with him. 
So can you tell us more about the Hasek Baroque Orchestra, about the style of making music, uh, what is the mission of the orchestra and the intention? We have quite a large repertoire and, and uh, we want to explore also the less known repertoire to, to mm -hmm. discover n new old pieces. Yes. Next to the well-known ones, which which we hopefully hopefully can find something new to to mm -hmm. discover as well uh, and to see in, in 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 a new light. We to to do music. Uh, it's old music, but we want to want to play it as a, as it as it were premiere, okay. uh, which is n not always easy, of course, with especially with very, very well-known pieces, but. Um, um, so it's about repertoire and also, of course, to, to um, part of the, the approach how to how to discover them new is, is to is to discover them old. So so to, to mm -hmm. about the ways that the music was conceived in, in, in its time. We pl play on the instruments for which it was composed, mm -hmm. and 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 um, yeah, to try to try to know as much as possible about the context and the, the, the content of. of the, of, of the music, that's pretty much it. Uh, we play music from Renaissance to early Romanticism, yes. so it's, it's it's quite large. Um, not on the same instrument, so the Baroque orchestra is actually a bit misleading. We don't play only Baroque music, and okay, we don't we I don't see. we don't play only Baroque instruments. When we we played just a couple of weeks ago, we, we played an opera by Schubert, oh, okay. Alfonso und Estrella, from 1820s. And of course, then the instruments are uh, those of, of, of that time. So, yes, so har time. hardly any instruments are the same. Okay, the violins, violin, din, the string instruments did not change that much, but still, the, the bow, the strings, um, the fi fine yes. setup uh, yes. are different. But the, that the woodwind, for example, are totally different from yes. in Baroque or in, in uh, mm -hmm. seventeen fifty or eighteen is already eighteen hundred is ah. already yeah. already different instruments already and different. and. and Go to 1850. It's and again, strings again, as well and pitch, uh, pitch as well, pitch as well. The, st the strings, the, the strings, strings itself did not change, change. that much. It was yes, pure the, gut strings that were used until the early 20th century, basically. Yes. So, uh, yeah, sometimes the, th the thickness is the measure, the, the um, okay. how thick is the G string, how how thick is the E string. This changed a little bit the style, but but uh, not radically. Mm -hmm. So, keyboard instruments changed a lot. Of, yeah, of course, uh, pia pianos, wait. pianos from a, uh, 1800 are quite different from pianos from 1830, or and, mm -hmm. and, and, and so on and so forth. So that's that's one aspect. But um, but finally, it's of course it's not the instruments that play, but um, but the musicians. So ah, so there are many many aspects uh, to to discover. Yes, so, it's very interesting. Yeah, and and of course, it's important to find ways how to how we can communicate that to the audience because this is yeah. f finally the, the goal is not to um, optimally not to reproduce a performance from let's say 1750 but but to to transmit some of the same content to the audiences of today that that was happening in 1750 and, and then it's not necessarily the same exactly the same because yes. we, we are different we, are different, yeah, we, are we have different yes. experiences and mm -hmm. um, the world is a different place than, than in the baroque time but but some something of the music is is is, is uh, timeless and, and remains and, and can speak to us that's that's the important, essential thing finally uh, and I'm very much interested when you begin when you start working on a new piece especially on a new discovered piece that uh, have never been performed before you you have to read these musical scores and to dig in the past and it's it looks like an uh, investigation yes <laughs> yes I, yes and how you start yes. with what you, um, you start working yeah, that's on a new good, piece uh, that's a very good question because because a musical score is is, is not like a user's manual in mm -hmm. the sense that you you it tells you press this and then this and this happens this and this especially that, when we speak about early music yes <laughs> I, yes i suppose in some some uh, 20th century music it can have an it always has an aspect of this mm -hmm. it gives you the notes to play uh, some of them at least but uh, but the es essence of the music is something that it's impossible to 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 cipher to to put put on paper so it's it's rather like a, like a 
hint, uh, gu guidance towards something that was the idea of the of the, of the composer or, or, or of the, the music, musicians. Yes. So, uh, and to, to understand this one, one needs to know the style first of all. It's it's otherwise it's like you're like reading a language you don't mm -hmm. know. So, if I want to work out the the, the sense of a Chinese poem, I I, I need to. I better know some, at least some Chinese, so I, mm -hmm. which is of course just a starting point. It's, it's, it doesn't guarantee I, 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 I discover anything, mm -hmm. anything there. But, but if there is anything there, you know, one never knows. So when, mm -hmm. when, when taking a new composition, it's sometimes it, it happened that we, we took something which looked very interesting, and then we just try our best and perform it, and but but don't really find anything then this might be the fault of the composer or it might be our fault it's it's we, we didn't discover the questions the music was the, supposed to answer maybe mm -hmm. um, so it's there's no no standard rule standard there's no no uh, uh, yeah it's uh, it depends on the epoch it depends on the country yes yes it's about on the style on the style German, yeah. Italian, Absol Italian, absolutely uh, but but uh, in general, it's, it's actually I, I do, personally I don't think there is much difference wh whether the music was composed ten years ago or or hundred years ago or three hundred years ago. It's it's still music that that is old. At the, it's not being composed at the time I'm, I'm doing it. It's it's like a message from somebody, and it's mm -hmm. like a, then I have to kind of like a letter from the com composer, and then I have to kind of read and. Uh, make something out of it it's it's I mean and, and in this sense it's pretty much the same as if when I take a newer newer score it is to, to read it to to understand it to to understand the harmonies to the rhythms the what's the basic and yeah I uh, you mean attitude to attitude yes, yes it's 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 there's no I, it's no no secret thing to old older music it's I think it's all what I say actually applies to all, all music. Music as an art, music as a like Schumann said, all music is romantic in the sense, sense that that uh, it's 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 about imagination and it's about um, um, making our uh, making us something else, changing us, and, and mm -hmm. to, it has an importance. Yes, yeah. yes, it's very interesting. Very difficult and interesting process <laughs> to make music <laughs> and to play. Yes, I, I believe so. I believe so. Yes. <laughs> yes. And what is easier to play a well-known piece or to play absolutely new and discovered piece? It's both are difficult or easy in their own way. It's mm -hmm. they both have challenges. So, so a well-known piece, of course, is usually something you you already know, and it's so it's, you don't need to. You basically know how, how the music goes already. You know the harmonies. You, but then to 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 look at it uh, freshly and to to actually yes, actually look beyond what you just use are used to hearing that can be difficult. With new pieces, you need a bit more time for to to just read it to to study it. But then then it's some sometimes you are you are mentally more free to 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 and, and more open open to see not only free but to to. Underst your understanding is sometimes more free from 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 previous um, experiences, which can be a good thing. So it's it's slightly different, but in the end, it's also the, the same. Because in in the end, you should in the end there is no difference. You are presenting the piece the best you can, and uh, yeah. Thank you for your interesting. It was very interesting for me, and uh, I'm sure for our public as well. Thank, yeah, thank you, you and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.